637. We check back in now with Mike Apple over at 680 for the latest in business news. Mike. Morning, Tammy. We've got a market alert this morning with the uh, Wall Street market on Friday down the most, well, the sixth biggest single day points decline ever for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, tumbling 665 points Friday and down for last week 4.1%. Uh, we've got heightened volatility, something we haven't talked about for well over the past year on global financial markets. Sort of a reality check as we start this week with rising inflationary pressures, the risk that interest rates might be going up faster than some of the prognosticators had thought for 2018. A global economic environment that's actually pretty good, but good news for the economy isn't necessarily always good news for stocks. So this morning we've got the Dow Jones poised for another drop of about 150 points. That's the early indication. The TSX on Friday was down over 200 points. It's down 3% for the year and could see more of a pullback in the early trade this morning. This week's earnings spotlight will focus on a couple of well, big automakers, one being General Motors and a rival now, Tesla. These companies report results and it's kind of interesting to or will be interesting to see Tesla's production numbers. And when we look at General Motors numbers, how many electric cars that company is producing to rival that of Tesla. We also have earnings due in from the Canadian energy majors who are seeing a big discount in the price that they're getting for oil right now because of the uh, pipeline issues uh, and just the fact that uh, U.S. producers uh, seem to be doing quite well. The Canadian producers will be reporting results this week. Biggest tech deal ever, maybe. We'll see if Qualcomm this time accepts a sweetened takeover bid from its computer chip rival Broadcom. The asking price, or the offer price now, $120 billion U.S. The initial bid at around $100 billion was rejected as being too low. And as stocks fall in the early Monday trading, no respite in the cryptocurrency pullback either. We're looking at the price for Bitcoin this morning tumbling to below now $7,700 U.S. All of the uh, cryptocurrencies are seeing a continued pullback. Last week down, some of them were by more than 20%. So we're uh, tracking that this morning. Consider the fact that uh, Bitcoin Bitcoin at its peak in uh, mid-December was $19,500, and again this morning around $7,700 U.S. Another thing we'll watch at the Toronto stock market today is the pullback for marijuana producers. Those companies are trending uh, lower again, and many of them 30 to 35 percent below their all-time record highs. We'll send it back to the studio. The question is, Mike, are we going to make it to next month when it's, uh, it's supposed to be the 10-year anniversary of the bear market? Uh, we haven't seen any significant pullback, Kevin, uh, for well, pretty much that time length, and that is uh, uh, perhaps overdue, some would say. But uh, right now, again, economy is fine, interest rates going up slowly, and uh, companies are making a lot of money. So might see a little bit of a pullback, but not a specific bear market. At least not that's not in the forecast. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome.